I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the bubbles. Let's that, huh? Wish that every plane could be a dreamliner. Actually slept so well. So I made it here to Buenos Aires and uh, heading downtown. I have an Airbnb rented for like a full month here in Buenos Aires. So I guess find a taxi, find a way, find the Airbnb. Let's do it. It's all about the bumps in your heart. Bueno chicos, ya llegué. I'm going to, sh I was gonna show you the, my apartment, my Airbnb. I talk about Airbnb all the time. If you don't use Airbnb, there's a link in the description. Use it, because Airbnb is awesome. Um, my apartment's um, tiny. It's like a, a, I don't know what you call them, bachelor suites, I guess, which is sexist, right? But it's got a nice little kitchen, beds over there, bathrooms in here. It's got a toilet and a bird bath and a tiny little balcony. I'm gonna get my stuff unpacked and uh, maybe do some grocery shopping. It's gonna be kind of weird having a little apartment for a month. Say no to Fernet. Cuatro, cualquiera de estos cuatro, 120. A cinco bombillas. Siendo verde, sin bombillas. Y con bombillas. Con bombillas largas. Ya, está bien. Más corta. Dale, yo tomo eso. Dale. Gracias. I'm realizing now that I'm home that it probably looked by that scene that all I got for groceries was candy and wine, but I did get some normal things and I think tomorrow I'm going to do a proper grocery store run that involves healthier things. Uh, that last scene that I filmed, you saw me with the dude on the street and what I was buying was stuff for Mate. This is a gourd, this is what he sold me, it's a homemade gourd made of wood. It's to drink out of. You have this. This is a bombilla. Bombilla is like a straw, although it has these like, I don't know, holes. Because what this does is this is like a tea. It's called yerba mate. And you drink it out of this. And since it's full of tea leaves, you drink it that way. And if you don't have this, you have like a normal straw, you're going to drink tea leaves. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's make one quick. Mate is my addiction. Whenever I'm in Argentina, it's my addiction. It's not only my addiction, every Argentinian is addicted to mate, I think. You see them everywhere you go in the world, you can always pick out an Argentinian because they're walking with like a hot water bottle and mate, uh, it's delicious and addictive. Mate has properties like caffeine. I think it is caffeine, they call it mateine, but I think it's the same thing. It's just maybe even more potent than caffeine and it's really bitter but delicious. So what you do is you take this gourd and you fill it like, you probably can't see it down there so I'm gonna do it up here. You fill it like, like halfway, a little bit more than halfway and then you angle it a little bit, you swish it around a little bit to pack it down, you angle it a bit and then you put the bombilla in it on top of it and then you take water and you heat it you don't boil it, you heat it to like 70 degrees, I think, 75, and then you pour it in. And then you can actually drink this mate constantly until it starts to wear off. So when you see locals with it, it's really like a social thing. They'll have the hot water bottle and then the mate, and then they're just constantly filling it up, passing it around and drinking it. And it's delightful. And whenever I'm working in Argentina on my laptop, I've got mate next to me because it's, it's my power. I don't need coffee in Argentina. I've got mate. I 
I may have passed out right there in bed for like almost two hours. Jet lag is a hell of a drug. According to the Airbnb listing, there's like a swimming pool, asado, barbecue area on the roof. So I think it might be a cool place to watch the sunset. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Fantastic views all over the city. The swimming pool is actually over here on the other side. You can see it right there. This is a pretty spectacular spot. Love it. One, two, three, fuck it. The first time I ever came to Buenos Aires, I, I kind of hated it, you know? It was the dog shit everywhere, it was the honking horn and sirens, it was the crowdedness. It was the people who weren't rude, maybe just like a little bit New York-y in how they are. And then last year, or about a year and a half ago, I came back and it felt like a different city. It felt like all the good bits of New York, it felt like the good bits of London, and it felt just awesome, it just felt it just felt like the perfect spot for me to be. And being here on top of the city again, it kind of brings me back to that. Looking out at, you know, this concrete jungle of a city that's just immense. I'm a big believer in returning to travel to places you've been before at different stages in your life. Just like you should try foods you didn't like before, you should come back to places because your travel taste buds evolve. And my travel taste buds evolved for Buenos Aires. It went from being a city that I really didn't like to a city I could see myself living in. It's just awesome. It kind of reminds me of the feeling I get in New York where I'm just like infused with energy when I come here. I just get all wound up and I want to see everything. I want to walk everywhere. I want to explore everything. It just fills me with that energy to explore and I love that. This evening I'm kind of just taking in the sunset, letting the cameras do some time lapse. and enjoying my first night here in Buenos Aires. Tomorrow, there's not gonna be a vlog because tomorrow at the regular time, which is 10 a.m. Eastern time that the vlog goes live, I'm gonna try to do a YouTube live. I hope my internet here is fast enough, but that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. It'll be a question and answer. So you guys should tune in tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I have no idea what time that is for everybody else, but figure it out. <laughs> it's the same as usual posting time. Uh, yeah, so YouTube live get your questions ready. We're gonna do that tomorrow 10 a.m. Eastern time I said that like eight times I'm gonna stop now and just call this an episode and continue Enjoying this incredible sunset here guys. I will see you tomorrow from here in Buenos Aires Well where there'll be more mate. I'm sure and hopefully more beautiful skies like this. I'll catch you later. Peace